Hi folks. Hang on. Just let me make sure. Yeah. Couldn't tell if I was zoomed in or not then. Just anyway, yeah, so just finished a shift. Another great shift. That's why I said a shift. Because like I've just finished my shift there and just yeah, since yesterday, since we had that uh, training about the um, uh, mystery shopper thing, uh, it's galvanised me more uh, to make much more of an effort. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm doing at the moment. All today, I've been on my feet, I've been on my toes, I've been basically just doing whatever it takes to make sure I hit those marks where I'm performing above and beyond what I need to sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Um, because there's, there's at least £400 at stake. Uh, if I get the mystery shopper and I get the bonus, Ben, who was delivering the training, said to us, I will double. If you, get, if you guys get it within the next two weeks, I'm going to double what you, you know. So if it's 200 quid, uh, it'll double it to 400 quid. So there's a possibility, there's a possibility of 400 quid on the line. Do you know what I mean? So I am well stepping up my mark now. And I am well trying to make sure I, if I serve the mystery shopper, and we've got clues as to whether we, we, we might be serving the mystery shopper or not. We're given clues. Uh, so certain questions that they might ask. Uh, so I'm not going to say what they are now because, like, you know, it's just probably best I don't. But yeah, do you know what I mean? So there's certain questions that they'll ask that um, like I look out for. And, you know, it doesn't mean it's the mystery shopper, it just it means it's, it's a possibility. So then you just up your game, do you know what I mean? But I'm up in my game anyway, regardless of whether people give me those specific questions or not. I'm just up in my game and I'm doing it mostly for me. And it's not just about the possibility of getting 400 quid, but obviously 400 quid for me would be flipping amazing. That would help a heck of a lot, do you know what I mean? In lots of different ways. So. You know, for me, it's kind of like, yeah, um, if I can if I can hit that mark, then fine, do you know what I mean? But like I say, I'm up in my game for me anyway, I'm doing it for me, uh, because I'm doing it for my confidence behind the till, uh, you know, because it's helping with my confidence, actually, because, you know, regardless of whether I think it's a divisive thing or not a divisive thing amongst the workforce, and I still think it is, to some extent, I still think that um, having the mystery shopper thing, for me, I think thing is a bit divisive, do you know what I mean? It can set people against each other a little bit, do you know what I mean? I know there's, there's healthy rivalry or healthy competition or whatever, but do you know what I mean? I don't know, the job's hard enough and they're under pressure enough as it is, do you know what I mean? Without making it even more so. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, so the thing is that, like, uh, but, like I say, for me at least, it's helping galvanise me and it's helping me to up my game, do you know what I mean? And go that extra mile and do better than I have been doing, do you know what I mean? Now, there's nothing to say that I've not been doing good because all, all reports are, do you know what I mean? And everybody's really, really happy with me. All my bosses are happy with me, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing like my customer services, you know, uh, par excellence, you know what I mean? It's like they are more than, more than happy with me. Uh, but uh, basically, um, it's like I say, uh, for me, um, and, like I say, and that's the thing you see, it's about this motivation thing, it's about the motivation. I'm thinking to myself, what exactly is motivating you? And, and you know, is, is it just purely a monetary game? Is it purely just about money? Do you know what I mean? And for me, it's not just about that. Do you know what I mean? It's about making myself better and doing a better job. Do you know what I mean? That for me is what's important. Do you know what I mean? So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to work my game. But of course, the money is a bonus. Do you know what I mean? It's so obviously like, you know, getting that. If I could, if I could get the mystery shopper and I make like that 400 quid, could then send you double it. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like wow that looks amazing do you know what I mean uh, then fantastic do you know what I mean that helps so much but like I said even if I don't get it I'm still up in my game regardless anyway do you know what I mean so 
And it's making me feel better, to be honest, it really is, because now I'm feeling a lot more positive, feeling a lot more confident. Uh, I, I made a couple of mistakes today still, you know what I mean? But that's because I was trying to be efficient, and sometimes a bit over-efficient, so I'm, I'm pressing buttons and not always clocking while I'm pressing, uh, because I'm trying to be as quick as I can, get the next customer and so on and so forth and what have you. Um, so I've got a bit of watch that a little bit. I've got to be mindful of that, that I'm, I'm maybe going a bit, bit too quick. So I need to just rein it in a little bit sort of thing, but still be quick, do you know what I mean? So anyway, so it's been really, really good today. Really enjoyed it. Um, I've actually had one of the best days in the shop, even though I made a couple of mistakes, but I'm learning to let go of those mistakes, not let them affect me, not let it sort of, you know, beat myself up over it or whatever. Just let go of it. Uh, you know, one of our bosses comes along, they sort it out, it's done, it's dusted. The customer is usually quite alright about stuff, you know what I mean? They're not usually that irate about it, as long as you sort out the issue, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Uh, and then, you know, we move on to the next, and, and you know, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, so now, like I say, obviously, I've fish, finished my shift, and now I'm having my food. And this is my, this is my new favourite thing to have now, the Swedish meatballs, man. Yeah, this is my new favourite thing. Uh, I love these things. And a can of Coke, and I've just had a latte as well. Well, that's nearly done. Um, but then I'm going to have my Coke as well. But, yeah, so that's what I'm going to have for my lunch. Um, those Swedish meatballs are really nice, man, actually. In fact, let me get one. Let me. I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and do an oh my gosh, but I don't. I don't I'm not sure how he does it. But I'm gonna attempt to do an oh my gosh here. Because oh my gosh, he does this thing when he goes into restaurants, places where they're gonna eat and stuff like that. Of course, wouldn't you know it? The one I decided to open is the one that's stuck to the side of the carpet. Um, I can't get the damn thing out. <laughs> I'm trying not to... Right, wait a minute, back in a second. Okay folks, so this is what I'm having. Do you want to take a bite? Whoa, flipping heck. That was a big bite you guys took. I probably didn't do that right anyway, because oh my gosh, the way he does it is so clever, I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying that because um, I think it's a really cool trick that he does. And it's really really interactive, and uh, it feels like really really nice, like a nice little thing that he does with those viewers, sort of thing. So and I think it's a really really nice little touch. Um, and although it's oh my gosh, is uh, and I'll let obviously you know give him credit. That's, that's his little thing. Um, I want to try and do it a couple of times because I think it's really cute and I love it. Right, okay, so for now I'm going to leave you there and I'm going to catch you guys later. Are you sure you don't you want another bite? Are you sure? Are you sure? You want another bite? <laughs> catch you guys later. Bye for now. Yeah, I just remembered, I forgot to mention, uh, we had Clive, the CEO, come into the shop again today. Uh, I think he popped in the other day as well, but I think it was a, more of a flying visit. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure, but he definitely came in today because I saw him uh, and he was talking to my boss. Uh, and then as soon as he left, or more or less as soon as he left, my boss came right up to me and she turned round to me and she said like, uh, oh, Clive was asking about you again. He was saying like, oh, it's good to see Paul's there and he's smiling and blah, blah, blah. So like I said, the CEO of our company actually knows my name and actually asks about me when he pops in the shop, you know what I mean? He asks how I'm doing and what have you, because like I say, my boss came up, she said like, oh, Clive was asking about you and blah, 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 and all that, and I'm like, oh, really? Wow, here we go again, like, you know. So, but that's, no, it's just really nice, it's really cool, you know, to think that the CEO of a big organisation, Pret isn't a little company, and Pret hasn't been around for like, you know, like two weeks or something, it's been around since the 80s, do you know what I mean, 86, when Pret started, do you know what I mean, so, you know, uh, it's no, it's no little thing that, like, the CEO of the company sort of like, you know, recognises you and sort of like says hello. Like, okay, you can argue, well, the head office is only just there. It's in that building behind me. Do you know what I mean? Where is it? Verdi, there. That's, that's essentially where, um, 
where Pret HQ is, so you can argue well, you know. And f funny enough, Victoria is where Pret started off. Uh, this is the birthplace of uh, Pret Amange um, because there's a plaque somewhere around, and I forget where it is actually. Uh, it's not too far from us, but there's a plaque on one of the walls somewhere. It even might be on near my shop actually. Um, but there's a plaque on the wall, and it actually says uh, that this was the site, or it's near the site of the original Pret shop. Um, so, you know, like I say, this 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 is the birthplace of Pret. Um, this is where it all this is where it all started from. Uh, and uh, you know, so you could argue, well, you know, the, the CEO, is, if he, if the headquarters is just there, it's a, it's a bit obvious that he's going to just he's going to pop in. Do you know what I mean? Sort of thing. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But still, you know, I mean, it's something to stick in my living feather in my cap, as it were. Uh, you know what I mean? Why not? Um, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so, um, oops. So, yeah. Uh, still haven't quite figured out how to sort of. Uh, navigate my way through massive crowds and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, and it's like, it still, still poses a, a bit of a flipping dilemma at times. Um, so, uh, so I've got bus fare for home, and I've got bus fare back to work tomorrow, but not bus fare home tomorrow, so I'm going to be walking again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening anyway, well, evening, what am I talking about, sorry, I mean, you know, this time tomorrow anyway, uh, I'll definitely be walking over again, uh, but, you know, oh well, uh, it's only, it's only one, one day, it's only one time back, it's not like I'm, what the same, and then on the Thursday, obviously, I'm back to having some money again, you know, so, and this time I've worked it out, uh, I should have, uh, I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but, uh, Definitely more than 30 quid this time. Um, so I don't know about maybe 60, 70 quid. You know, after the everything's paid off again and all the rest of it. Um, so you know, it's getting there. It's getting bad. Um, so okay. So yeah, I'm gonna catch the number two, uh, and I'm gonna head home, and then I'm gonna edit these videos. Uh, and uh, yeah, not sure what else may or may not come along yet but uh, for now until the bus comes and what have you i'm gonna leave it there and i'll catch you guys later bye for now